Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today, I'm going to show you how you can actually add an upload button to your program or to a frame. Okay, so in Java, we use a class called JFile Chooser and uh, that allows the user to actually select a file and upload it from a computer inside a program all right so as usual my project is made up of two classes here i have the main class where i'm creating the frame object and i have the second class that i called my frame that is inheriting from the jframe class and allowing it to create a frame and here in the constructor i am defining the attributes of the frame so as for this particular video i'm going to change some attributes here i will not need size and i would rather need a pack method so that's going to make sure that the frame is going to adjust its size based on the element it will contain and later on i'm going to use the action listener but as for now let's just uh, leave it like this and also note that i'm using the flow layout manager I told you at the beginning we will add a button and that button when clicked is going to allow us to upload file inside our computer i need to define or declare this button globally so i will say j button btn and then semicolon so if you have not imported the j button class you have to do that now in uh, the constructor you will need to instantiate your button so say btn assignment statement new j button and then you can set the text of the button uh, as for me i will say upload file then you need to add this button to the frame so i will say this that add btn now let me run so you can see upload file when you click nothing happens so let me simply add a set flexible to the button so i'll say set flexible false i think that will be okay it will remove the borders around the button text so that's it we simply have the upload button and when you click on it nothing is happening okay nothing will definitely happen so now as i told you we are going to use the action listener to make sure that when you click on the button uh an event would happen so I have to add the action listener to this particular button. So I'll say add action listener, and then I will pass in this. Okay. So now I'm having an error because we have not implemented the action listener yet on this class. So I'll simply say implement action listener. Okay. I have to import the action listener class and add the unimplemented methods. So now it's okay. No errors showing. So we are going to determine the behavior of our button or the event that needs to happen when you click on the button. And uh, we need to write some code in our action performed method. Let me change the action event argument here. I'll call it EVT. And I will say if the source of the event, that means EVT that gets source is equal to the button because the button is, you know, the Gooby component on which we have added the action listener inside the body of our if statement we need to add the j file chooser okay as i told you at the beginning a j file chooser is the java class that we use to upload some files so i'll say j file chooser and i will call this file underscore upload and i will instantiate that directly so j file chooser semicolon you can see the error is because we have not imported the j file chooser class so import that so now we want to select a file to open it what can we do so we will say file underscore upload that show open dialog and no so this is going to return an integer value so now what we're going to say we will say int and then we will call this integer value response uh, i can simply say res like this and i will say file underscore upload that show open dialog now i will comment this line of code so i need to add another if statement and in that if statement we will say that if the response is equal to a certain option we will need to get the path of the selected file so that will be if the integer res is equal to j file chooser approve underscore option now in the body of this if statement we will say that we want to get the path of the selected file so if you can recall at the beginning we say that we want to actually be able to select a file and then open it 
So now here we will get the path of that file. So to get the path, we will write file, file underscore path. So that's going to be the name. And then we need to instantiate that. We will say new file. And inside the bracket, I will say file underscore upload, get selected. Uh, it's get selected file. And then I will add another method that would be get absolute path like this. So I'm having an error. I need to import the file class. So this line of code is going to get the path of the selected file. So now we want to output the path of that particular selected file. So we'll say system that add that print line. And then we'll see this simply say file underscore path. So now let me run. Okay, I'm having the button. What if I click on the button? Now you can see when I click on the button, it opens a dialog. So this is corresponding to the, the response that we said, file underscore upload that show open dialogue. So this is it, it opens. And now I'm going to here, select file. And then when I click on open, now you can see it is showing the path of the file that I selected, okay? This line of code is opening the dialog box that allows us to select uh, our files from our computer. And this line, this if statement is going to make sure that if you select a file, you have to also get its path. And then once you get the path of the selected file, we want you to output it in the console. So that's basically what we are trying to say here. All right. So let's say that you want to actually, instead of just um, selecting a file and then outputting the, the path of the file, we want to save, select a file and then save it in our program. So what we would do, we would say integer response to, so I'll say res underscore two, and then I'll say file underscore upload. Here, I'm not gonna use the show open dialog, but I would rather say show save dialog. And I will say no. And the difference between these two is that with the show open dialog, you know, the button would be to open. Okay, let me let me show you. I will say comment this. When you click, when you click on the button, you see it says open as a button. You have the button open and then cancel. So when you select a file, you still have the button open here. Now, what, what happens if you use the method show save dialog? So with this particular method, show save dialog, let me just put that here for it to run. When you click on the upload button, you see there's a different button here. It says save. So that means that when you select a particular file, it will not only open at, but it will save it. Okay, so that's basically the difference between these two particular methods. All right, so now we are using res underscore two here. We want to save that particular file in our program. So we will still need this if statement. So we will simply say if res underscore two, okay, is equal to j file chooser that approve option. Then we want to get the file path of the selected file. So we will say file, file path, new file, file upload that get selected. This will get a selected file and then this would get a path and we will output the path here. Now let me run, click on the upload file button and here I will say, I will select this and then click on save on the dialog box here. And you can see this has returned the file path and this will also save the file that you selected. All right, so that was it. So you, what you need to understand here is that using the show save dialog, this would uh, select the file, get the path of the file. And when you click on save, as we have done, it will create that file or save that file. And then based on this line system, the other print line, it's going to return the path to that file in the console. Okay, so that's why you get the path here. But it will create that file and save it normally in your program. So let's say that we want to change the current directory ourselves. So note that, for example, when you run and click on upload file, it takes me to my document folder on my computer. What if you want to say, okay, no, we don't want to... Uh, go directly to the my documents folder, but we rather want to go to our project directory, our project folder. How can we do that? What we need to write here would be, we'll come down here, we will use the method called set current directory. So we will say file underscore upload 
that set current directory and inside we have to say new file and then because this is going to be our project directory so inside here we will simply say double quotations and then put period inside the double quotations okay so when you run and click on the upload file i will do that and now you can see it has taken me to my for my project folder it's called tutorials okay as you can see here on eclipse i call these tutorials and here are the various folders that i have in my project directory if i select images you can see that i have the image here you know src folder images folder bin folder settings class path project and the various files in my my project so that's it we can set the current directory to any other folders as well so what we have to do is to simply replace you know the dot here with a file path of a particular folder in our on our computer so that's as simple as that so as that was it on how you could actually add an upload button to your frame and i hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like to share and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one Let's meet in another one.